Hey guys, welcome back to Wonder Dads Gaming. Good to have you back on Thursday night. And uh, we're at Auto Club Speedway for the sixth race this season. It's going to be in the uh, iRacing Fun League uh, Truck Series. Uh, been a really interesting season so far. And uh, we've had a couple different winners and a couple different point uh, lead takers. Um, William Mann Jr. currently is in the point lead. But real, real quick, we're going to get qualifying on our way here in just a moment. So while they're out there on track qualifying, let's go ahead and pull up the previous race results if you missed it. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching with us. But let's go ahead and pull up last week's winner. So last week's winner, which was... Um, sorry, guys. Hold on here just a moment. It was Matthew Heal. Uh, Matthew Heal is a new member of the iRacing Fun League, and he's the number 51 Toyota Tundra. Congratulations, Matthew, on last week's win at Bristol. Uh, the, there was a late race caution that came out, and Matthew was in the right place, I think, in the top two, and managed to keep his truck out front when it mattered most. And uh, caution came out, and it was a green-white checkered results there, or finish, and he managed to take the lead. Had a fast truck all race long, kept himself in position to win it. Um, did a great job, but congratulations, Matthew, on your win last week at Bristol. Awesome race and um, first win of this season. So that was your race winner last week. Let's go ahead and pull up your top three. Uh, so William Mann Jr., who's off to a good points um, run this season so far. He's currently second. I'm sorry. He finished second at Bristol. He's currently your point leader right now. So William Mann Jr. has the per point lead in the iRacing Fun Series on I uh, Thursday night. Um, so congratulations, William Mann Jr. on another top five. He currently has three top fives this season, so he's kind of a little bit of a hot streak. Hasn't won a race just yet, um, but he's in position to win some races this season. So look out for him and watch him as the season goes on. Uh, but good finish from him. Uh, moving on from there, let's go ahead and pull up um, our third place finisher which was Nicholas Winnuck. So Nick Winnuck had a great finish at Bristol. Um, saw him in the top five most of the race. I know he dropped back a couple positions outside the top five, um, but as the race went on, he really uh, kept himself in good positions to go for the win. And with a couple laps left, I believe he made himself wound, or I'm sorry, I can't talk tonight. Found himself in the top three. So good finish from Nick Winock. Uh, good race all around. And uh, Nick Winock, who has a couple top fives this season already, I believe he has, um, let's see, where is he at? Nick Winock has three top fives this season. So it's his third top five of the season. Um, so good finishes all around. Wins coming his way as well. I think he won... Um, Last year, he didn't run full-time with us in the iRacing Fun League, but two years ago, he won at Sonoma, I believe. Um, but Nick Winock, good to have you out there, and good finish from you last week at Bristol. All right, guys, moving on. We'll show you the points real quick. So the points at Auto Club, we have uh, William Mann Jr., like I said, is your current point lead or point leader. And Matthew Karakoff, who's won two races this season, he currently has second place right now. Corey Goodall is third. Donald Bennett is fourth, and Nick Winnock right now is your top five in points. Sixth place is Elliot Swope. Seventh place is Kane Vandemark. Eighth place is Michael Carpenter. Ninth is Justin Glover, and tenth is Patrick Lucio. There's your top ten in the point standings, and then the rest is on screen as well. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, here you go. Sorry, guys. There is the remaining point standings. Uh, but, guys, let's go ahead and get on track and show you um, the current... Uh, race broadcast here. So right now, let's see if we can show you the current ticker up on the screen here. And uh, Karakoff right now at the fastest lap time on screen. And I don't know why, but it's showing us um, double names on there. I'm not sure why. It did that to us a while back. I'm not sure why. So Randy Cawthon right now on track. There he is in the 31 truck. Uh, looks like qualifying is just about wrapped it up. Elliot Swope with the fastest time now. Looks like he has a 40.75. Let's see who else is on track. Marshall Dugan's out on track. Right now, Marshall is seventh on track, seventh fastest. Um, that score, that thicker box, like I said, for some reason the times and names are uh, overlapping each other. It did that to us in the Daytona duels, and I'm not sure exactly why. Here is Matthew Karakoff, though. He is a two-time winner so far this season. He is currently um, 14th right now in the starting lineup. And then just looking for a couple more 
people on track. Looks like it's about wrapped up. There you go, white flag in the air. Looks like Karakoff to the top of the board here. Karakoff puts down the fastest time. Let's see if we can pull him up in the booth before we get started here. And uh, see if we can, is he in our Discord page? Let's take a look here. I actually don't see Matthew right now tonight. Alrighty, we are at Auto Club Speedway for the Auto Club 150. Matthew Karakoff is your uh, pole sitter for tonight. He's going to get those bonus points, four bonus points for uh, qualifying on the pole. I was looking for Karakoff in uh, the iRacing Discord here, and I don't see his name. So uh, I'm sorry, Matthew, but uh, we will talk to you after this is over. If you are listening or watching, Matthew, I will get you pulled up as the race goes on under caution or anything. I don't see in the Discord, otherwise we'll pull you up. Anyways, moving on forward, let's move through the race grid here. So race grid right now, Matthew Karakoff on the pole, gets those bonus points. Elliot Swope right now in the second place position. Uh, Patrick Lucio will be starting third in that 18 Toyota Tundra. Joe Tardiff will be starting fourth. Josh Previtt will be starting fifth. John Ledger will be starting sixth. Dan Withers will be starting seventh. Marshall Dugan will be starting eighth. Craig Bridge Jr. will be starting 9th. Kane Vandermark will be starting 10th. Randy Cawthon will be starting in the 11th place position. You also have Nathan Bossy starting 12th. Steven Lindo will be starting 13th. Donald Bennett will be starting 14th. Um, in the 15th position, we have Justin Glover in the 25th. Mark Ward will be starting 16th. Uh, Jeff Larway will be starting 17th. Matt McComas will be starting 18th. Matthew Hiale will be starting 19th. Matthew's last week's winner at Bristol. Um, actually, Matthew will be end up getting the EOL. Last week's winner will be getting the EOL starting at the next race. That's something we implement in the iRacing Fun League. Uh, but 20th will be Zachary Ward coming out tonight, last week's uh, champion of the series. 21st will be Corey Goodall in the 333 truck. William Mann Jr. will be starting 22nd in the 29. Max Tronin, a new member of the iRacing Fun League. Good to have you out there with us, Max. He'll be starting 23rd. And then 24th will be Eric Olson. And I believe that is your starting lineup for the Auto Club Speedway. Uh, I want to thank you all again for joining us at Auto Club Speedway on Wonder Dads Gaming. Appreciate you all for tuning in. Uh, leave a chat, come say hi, and uh, hopefully we have a good, fun race for you guys. It's going to be a real interesting one here at Auto Club. We don't race here anymore in real life. They're actually uh, remodeling this track. Um, but, but hopefully this is going to be an interesting race. There is your point pole sitter, Matthew Karakoff, in the lead. He'll be taking them to green here in just a moment. We are doing 75 laps at Auto Club Speedway. And uh, these trucks are getting ready to go. Lights are off the pace truck. A lot of good looking paint schemes out there tonight. Josh Previtt returns to the iRacing Fun League. Good to have you out there, Josh. Good to see you. Uh, but here we go. Green flag about to be put in the air. And they are underway. Green flag in the air. Matthew Karakoff off to a good start here. Elliott Slope on the outside in that 33 F-150. He gets a good start. Side by side down into turn one. It looks like Karakoff gets the lead. Look at Patrick Lucio on the bottom of that 18 point thunder. He's got the speed. He goes down to the bottom of the track, and he goes side by side with the leader. Looks like Karakoff with a good uh, exit out of two, though. Remains in the lead. That 18's got a cool-looking paint scheme. I like that mobile one to the thunder there. Um, but looks like Karakoff's still in the lead. He's got the speed on the exit of the corners. And he maintains that through uh, lead in lap one. Elliott Swope right on his bumper, though. Those Fords are looking really fast here tonight. We'll see what happens. But let's move on back. So there's Patrick Lucio in the 18. He is third right now. One of the fastest trucks on the track at the moment. Showed a lot of speed earlier in the race. It looked like he was going to take that lead away, but he falls in line back to third here. 
And then right behind him is John Leger in that Hot Wheels 16 Silverado. That's another cool looking paint scheme. On the inside of him, we have Joe Tardif. Joe Tardif looking for uh, his second win of the season, that 23 Toyota Tundra. These Tundras are off to a good start here tonight inside the top five. Um, someone we haven't talked about this season, this is his first race out there, is Josh Brevet, number eight from Syracuse, New York. Good to have you out there, Josh. Let's go ahead and roll up that ticker because I forgot to do that earlier in the race. So there, hopefully it's fixed now. So Karakoff is your leader on uh, lap number three. Like I said, we're going 75 laps at Auto Club Speedway, going 150 miles here in California. Lorraine Neha says, shout out to my son, John Leger, and our friend Harley. Thank you, Lorraine. Good to hear from you. John's off to a good start right now tonight. He's currently in the fourth place position. John Ledger from Boston, Massachusetts. He's in that Hot Wheels 16 paint scheme. Good looking truck. I dig that big time. Let's see if we can ride on right along with John Ledger here tonight. There is the leaders right in front of him. John's having a good race here in the fourth place position. Patrick Lucio right in front of him. Oh, a little bit of contact with the wall there. I think that was Elliot Swope. That uh, 33 truck, he dives down to the bottom after making contact with the wall. There's your leaders right in front of uh, John Ledger. see if I had a replay for that. I have to back that up. I believe that was the 33 of Elliot Swope made contact with the wall. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it was Karakoff. Oh, it was Karakoff who was up high in the wall. Karakoff off to a good lead still. Looks like Patrick Lucio, though, making his way up to the front. He's still running third, though, but he's getting up there. Elliot Swope down at the bottom. A lot of good battles here going for the lead. Elliot Swope, who has a fast truck, trying to take that lead away from Karakoff. Side by side down the back stretch. Um, down the back stretch. Can't talk to that apparently. Looks like a lot of the trucks are all single file on the top. Look at this three wide Patrick Lucio through the middle here. Patrick trying to take the lead away from Karakoff. They're making it three wide at the line. Look at this battle, guys. Karakoff on the high side, Patrick Lucio in the middle, and Elliott Swope down on the bottom. Three wide at the line on lap number seven. That is two forwards in a Toyota Tundra right now on track. Chevy's haven't shown up here tonight. John Ledger is the current fastest Chevy right now in fourth. He makes his way up to third as he's battling with Elliott Swope here. Josh Previtt back there in the fifth place position driving a Silverado trying to get up there. He makes it too wide on turn four. Ryan on board right now, Patrick Lucio. He's right behind your leader of Karakoff. They're heading down to turn one. These guys run on the high side. It'll be interesting to see if tires come into play here. Did some practicing last night. And um, try to see what these guys were going to feel in the trucks. It looked like the tires were a little loose as they were cold. You got to get them warmed up a little bit to get some grip. But yeah, Lorraine, you picked a good driver. Um, hopefully he has a good, solid race tonight. John right now, John Ledger is currently 15th in points. He moved up four spots from last uh, last race. Um, currently has one top five finish and three top tens, moving his way up in points. Uh, right now, John Ledger is currently third right now. Third back in that inside line. Off to a good start here tonight. Patrick.
Patrick Lucio, though, looking to take the lead away from the leader of Matthew Karakoff. He's looking for his first win of the season. Colusio, who is currently 10th right now in points, he has one top five and two top tens this season. He's looking for his first win. Their current leaders right now, are, uh, current winners of the season, are Corey Goodall. He has one win. Joe Tardif has one win. It looks like Matthew Heal has one win from last week. And then Matthew Karakoff is your only repeat winner of the season. First caution is out of the night. Matt McComas involved. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here's your replay. Oh, contact between the 77. Oh, hard contact. Takes out Eric Olson. 77 of Matt McComas and Eric Olson hard involved there. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's take another replay. Well, let's go ahead and back that up. I want to see exactly what happened here, but hard contact with the 77 and that inside pit wall there. So it looked like the 51 of Matthew Heal makes contact with Matt McComas, and he makes hard contact with the inside wall. Gets into Eric Olson here in the 64. Unfortunate for those guys. That's a big wreck. Hopefully he can take it back down pit road. A lot of damage on that 77 truck. Eric Olson also who is involved in that. Heavy damage to his truck. He's gonna have to tow it down back to pit road. These guys do have one fast repair here tonight. Um, so once they use that, they're done for the rest of the race. You're gonna have to manage your stuff and do a good job. And, Keep it on you, but lots of trucks down pit road this time. Karakoff leads him down. Patrick Lucio right now second, and John Lager is third. Josh Previtt fourth. Elliot Swope's right now top five. Joe Tardif is sixth. Marshall Dugan seventh. Nathan Bossy's running eighth. Kane Vandermark running ninth, and Randy Cawthon right now in the top ten. There's your point leaders in pit road. Race leaders in pit road. I'm sorry. All right, guys, like I said, thank you for joining us here tonight. Um, appreciate you all for tuning in on Wonder Dad's Gaming. We're currently under the first caution of the night on lap 12 here and watching a couple trucks come off pit road. Looks like Patrick Lucio is going to lead them off pit road. He makes it out ahead of John Leger and looked like uh, Matthew Karakoff lost a couple spots here on pit road. Karakoff's going to drop a little bit back. Let's go ahead and take a look at our one of our new iRacing Fun League members here. That's Max Tronin in the number four truck. He's running that Toyota Tundra. Good to have you out there, Max. I know I said hi to you earlier in the video, uh, but new iRacing Fun League member. And that's what we're all about here tonight. Um, just want to have fun. This league was basically created for, you know, the guys that work all day or guys or girls that work all day and want to have some fun on iRacing, race with everybody. Uh, definitely not a win at all cost league. We try to crack down stuff like that, but just want everybody to have fun. That's what we're all about here. So um, thank you for joining us, Max, and uh, looking forward to seeing you race with us here. Matt McComas, he's still on pit road in that 77 truck. He has heavy damage there. And also Eric Olson still on pit road. Uh, Donald Bennett right now coming back down pit road in the 20, or I'm sorry, the number 30 truck. Not sure if he has an issue there, but not off to a good start here tonight. Craig Bridge Jr. right now currently scored 19th. Kind of just taking it easy there in that 94. Mark Ward in the number 10. Haven't talked about him much lately. Mark's just trying to play it safe, keep himself out of trouble, make his way through the field. Uh, but Randy Cawthon, though, who was top 10 coming into the pits, he's now currently back there in the 15th position. He lost a couple spots on pit road. Um, we'll see what, how he does throughout this race. Zachary Ward out there racing us tonight. Zach is last year's winner in the iRacing Fun League. He is last year's champion. Um, good to see him out there with us. He said he was going to run select races this season but always interesting to see him out there racing. Zachary Ward, keep an eye on him. He won here last year in the uh, Xfinity Series at Auto Pro Speedway, so he knows how to get it done here in California. 
just in front of Zach. You got Justin Glover in that number 25 truck. Let's see, actually here we're getting ready to go green here, so sorry guys. Just wanted to show off some of our members in my recent fun league. We're getting ready to go green here. Lights are off on the pace truck as it drops down the track. And we're getting ready to go green here on lap number 14. All right, green flag back in the air. Patrick Lucio leads them. The 25 of Justin Glover up in the wall. No caution, we stay green. But a little bit of contact. Up in the wall, Justin Glover. 18 off to a good lead. Yeah, just moments, a look, moments ago, Justin Glover made contact with the wall. I'm not sure if someone bumped him up there, but a little bit of an issue for that 25 truck. Alrighty, back to the lead. There's a three-way battle for second place here. That is John Ledger in the 16 up high. He gets around the 56 and Nathan Bossy Karakoff down to the bottom of the track. Heading into turn one, side by side, Bossy and Karakoff. Patrick Lucio still leading them down in lap 15 here. 18 is going to get those bonus points for leading a lap. Karakoff, though, to the bottom of the track. He's going to try and get back up to the lead. Look at that 16 of John Leturlo pushing the 18. That Silverado is one of the fastest on tracks here. But it's Matthew Karakoff uh, retaking the lead. He's back out front again. Lucio is going to fall back in line, back to second here, and then the 16, third back. Josh Previtt, though, he's trying to get back up to the front. He's in that eight number. Silver, number eight Silverado there. He's going to fall back in line to fourth here. Joe Tardiff right behind him. It's a good looking paint scheme in that number eight Silverado. I'm really impressed here though with Karakov. He's uh, started off well. Started off on the pole. Fell back a little bit. Had a mishap on pit road. Lost a couple positions and he's right back up there to, to the lead. That double zero is fast here tonight. Look at this battle back here for the fourth place position. Josh Previtt to the bottom of the track. He's going to try and take away the position for the 18 truck. And there you have it. He slides up the track, takes second place away from Patrick Lucio. It looked like the 18 was up in the wall. A little bit of sparks there in that back wall. Look at Joe Tardiff, though, to the bottom of the track. Though, he's going to try and take second away from the number eight. There is the battle for second place. Side by side at the line, 23 and eight. Trying to do second to Joe Tardiff. Not quite going to get around him. He's going to fall back to third. Trying to get that second place position away. Karakoff still leading. Someone we haven't talked about tonight is uh, Patrick Kane. I'm sorry, not Patrick Kane. I say Patrick Kane because I'm a big Blackhawks fan, but we're talking about Kane Vandermark here. Sorry, Kane. Patrick Kane. I don't know why I have Blackhawks in my mind, but actually got rid of Patrick Kane. Kane up there trying to get to the leads. Currently runs sixth place here on lap number 18. He's right now behind John Ledger. Well, I'm sure it's Ledger. I'm saying it wrong. Sorry, John. Sharon Laraway says, let's go 71 to 94. That's the 71 of Jeff Laraway. Jeff right now is running in the 21st position. And the 94. Craig Rich Jr. is currently running 16th. Oh, contact, the uh, Marshall Dugan in that 45 truck up in the wall, he made contact. That's what you saw there just moments ago. There's Craig Rich Jr. in the 94 truck. Side by side with William Mann Jr. right now in that 29. That 29 truck's been fast all season. 
think he's trying to save his stuff. William Madden Jr. currently running the 14th place position. Battle with the 214 of Steven Lindo. Well, let's go ahead and back to your leaders. That's Joe Tardiff who is trying to take the lead away from Karakaw. Side by side at the line, down into lap 21 here. Joe's trying to take that lead away from the double zero. Let's see if he's gonna clear him out of turn two here. Not gonna quite clear him just yet. Down the back stretch they go. Karakoff re remains your leader. It's gonna take a lot of speed to get around that double zero truck. He's really fast here tonight at Auto Club Speedway. He's got that truck dialed in, but Joe Tardiff looking to the inside, not quite gonna, doesn't quite have the speed just yet. He's gonna fall back in line behind the double zero here. Here is the battle back here for the ninth place position. Top 10 spot, Max Cronin, that number four. He currently has a ninth place position looking to get around John Ledger in the 16. Like he's going to take that eighth place away from him, move up one position. John Ledger falling back a little bit. He was in the fourth place position early on, and third, I think, as well. He's falling back now to ninth. Nathan Bossy, who had a good run, he's currently now back in 10th. Matthew Vialli in the 51, that's last week's winner. He's currently 11th, looking inside the top 10, trying to make his way up there. Another guy you never want to count out though, William Mann Jr. who we talked about moments ago in the 29. Watch for him to get up there. Mark Ward right now running 13th in that number 10 at 150. Man, looked like uh, Nathan Fossey really battling hard with Matthew Hiale. I'm not sure if it's Heal or Hiale, I'm sorry Matthew. Those two guys battling side by side. Matthew's trying to get around that 56 of Nathan Bossy. Back to your leaders though, Kane Vandemark has got some speed in that truck. He's made his way up to third here. Up now battling side by side with Joe Tardiff, trying to get second away, and he does. He clears the 23, moves up the track and takes second place away. Kane Vandermark up to second, showing some speed now after that pit stop. Running a pretty cool paint scheme, the problem on that Chevy Silverado. Chase down Matthew. He's got some speed in this truck. Let's see if he can do it. Down to the inside. He's trying to get around that double zero. He's got some speed. Not quite going to do it just yet. That double zero, though, looking really fast here once again. He's got two wins this season. Still hanging out on front. Sharon Laraway, thank you for your comment. I appreciate it. I, yeah, no problem. I'm doing this just uh, just for fun, having a good time with it. I appreciate you letting me know. I'm rooting for your boys. I'm hoping the 71 of Jeff Laraway and the 94 of Craig Ridge Jr. I hope those guys have a good race. Glad to see them out there every week. Thank you. Uh, let them know. Thank you if they don't see this um, in person for joining the iRacing Fun League. Um, it's just a fun series, you know, there's no money exchange at all, so a lot of times these broadcasters and leagues race for money and stuff like that, but we're out there just to have a good time, so. Um, but thank you for commenting, appreciate it. There is your current leaders, though. Kane Vandermark takes the lead away from Matthew Karakoff. He's uh, gonna lead a lap here tonight. He gets those bonus points. But still side by side, look at these trucks. Down the backstretch on lap 27. 
Kane Vandemark definitely found some speed in that Silverado. He's definitely trying to take the lead away from Matthew Karakoff. He is one of the fastest Silverados on track. Whatever he did on pit road that last time, he came through the field, made his way to the front, trying to take that lead away. It's been an interesting battle, but Zachary Ward as well, who's currently third right now. Zach's trying to get his way up to the front. Trying to chase these guys down. There is the gap right now from Zachary Ward to the two leaders, about a couple truck lanes back. But these two leaders, though, I can't believe they're going side by side. It looked like Karakoff is going to give up that position, but he still wants it back. He's going to go up high. It just amazes me, though, that Karakoff can put that truck wherever he wants, and he's got speed on that thing, no matter what line he runs. Alrighty, right now you got Max Tronin run sixth place. He's trying to get around the number eight of Josh Previtt here. Max for his first time out here running in the iRacing Fun League, having a good start to this race. Inside the top six here. Looking for his top five of the season. First top five, first race. Joe Tardif who falls off the lead a little bit here. He's now run seventh. Patrick Lucio, who was up there towards the front, kind of falling back a little bit. I think these guys might be saving their stuff. You got Mark Ward right now running ninth. He's inside the top 10. Mark Ward, who is currently, let's take a look here. Only 19th in points, still looking for his top first top 10 of the season. Running P9 right now, having a good race so far. There is your current leader, Zachary Ward, closing the gap to the two leaders right now. He's going to try and take this lead away. That truck is fast. He's made his way from the back. Down to the bottom of the track here. Side, it's almost three wide. Looked like he's going to try and take the second place away from Karakoff. Not quite going to do it. He's going to fall back in line. Kane Vandemar kind of snaking around, trying to take the air off the double zero. There's your first, second, and third place guys running right now. Kane Vandemark right now in the lead. He's got one top five, two top tens this season. Looking for his first win of the season. He manages to do that here. He's going to lock himself into the 2024 playoffs. Right now, Matthew Karakoff with two wins this season is already locked in. But the two guys beside him do not have a win yet. Donald Bennett is not having a great night tonight. Looked like, oh, it looked like Karakoff down pit road here. But yeah, Donald Bennett not having a great start tonight here at Auto Club through the grass. Karakoff, though, down pit road. Going to make some, uh, going to get some adjustments here. So Kane Vandermark takes the lead. And Zachary Ward will be running second right now. Karakoff down pit road. Matthew Hiale is in the 51. Matthew, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. It might just be Heel. I just like to say it fancy Hiale. Uh, he's side by side with Joe Tardif though. Joe Tardif looks like he's pulling off here down the pit road. Yep, and he does. Joe Tardif down pit road along with uh, Josh Pratt. Look at the right side of those trucks all smashed up. There's Josh Prep at number eight. Contact with that right side there. Mark Ward as well down pit road. Donald Bennett brings it down pit road as well. Not the night that uh, Donald Bennett was expecting here tonight. Jeff Laraway brings it down pit road. Uh, Randy Cawthon though, 
retakes the lead here, or takes over the lead, as Kane Vandemark brings his truck down pit road for some service. So here you have the 51 coming down pit road as well. A lot of takers here on lap 34. Uh, but Randy Cawthon stays out, gets that bonus point. He takes his truck down pit road. Bunch more trucks as well. Getting their tire serviced here. All righty, right now it looks like John Ledger is your current points leader, race leader. like he hasn't come down pit road yet. He's going to come down as well. Once this all cycles through, looks like Karakoff is going to remain the leader. He's heading through turns one, two right now down the back stretch. Lap 36 of 75. Karakoff will remain or retake the lead. That's John Ledger right now on pit road getting his tires done. Once the cycle's through, Karakoff will be your leader. There you have it, Karakoff takes the lead. Karakoff right now, who has an average finish on these speedways of 8.5. I'm sorry, the speedways is 10. Average finish of 10th right now on the speedway track. Overall finish is 11.4 this season. His average position is 2.5 on these speedways, so off to a good start this season. Been impressive all season long in this truck series, but things are going to change once we get to uh, the Xfinity series. You're going to see probably some different guys up there. Some guys prefer the trucks, and other guys prefer Xfinity versus Cup in the next gen. And you're going to see some guys shine in other series that you wouldn't see in uh, in the trucks or Xfinity. You know. Last year, if you watched the Ivory Star Run League in the 2023 season, we saw a couple of guys dominate the trucks versus ARCA. We ran ARCA last season. And uh, it was kind of cool to see who would uh, who was the better driver in certain cars. That was the cool thing about the Road to Cup season. You'd see different guys win races in Xfinity versus Next Gen and trucks and ARCA. And that's what I liked about this series. Uh, Zachary Ward right now up to second place after the pit cycle. Kane Vandemark, I'm not sure what happened there, but he falls back to six. He's getting chased down by Nathan Bossy. Bossy runs seventh. There is the battle for fifth, sixth, and seventh on screen. We haven't talked about much tonight. Corey Goodall, who won the opening race at Daytona. He's currently locked in the playoffs right now with one win. He's currently running 18th right now, looking for a little bit of luck to go his way right now behind Steven Lindo in the 214. Those guys battling back there. Marshall did give him a little bit of a mishap earlier in the race, made contact with the wall. He is currently running 16th. Layman Jr. in that 49. He's 15th right now. And Randy Coffin, who it looked like got a couple uh, bonus points for leading a lap here in that 31. He's right now in the 14th place position. Craig Bridge Jr. trying to make his way up there to the front. He's currently on 12. And then Elliot Smoke, who started on the outside here. Outside pole. Started second place this race. He is right now top 10, 10th place position. These guys are getting strung out a little bit as the caution, um, not caution, but as the pit cycles through. These guys got kind of strung out a little bit here tonight. 
Max right now running uh, P3. Watching Zachary Ward right now chase down the leader, Matthew Karakoff. Trying to get up there to him. Looked like Karakoff down at the bottom there trying to get away from uh, Zach's line. But Zach wants to get to him. He's got to run a different line to try and uh, catch him. The good thing about being second here in these kind of races, you can watch the leader and see where he's running. And you can kind of change it up a little bit and see if it works for you. And sometimes, like Karakov going high here, Zach goes to the bottom. You can see if that works out better for him. Try a couple little things. See if you can get there to him. And he's gaining on him. He's closing the gap between first and second. Down to the bottom of the track. He's going to eventually catch him here. He's, get, he's gaining on him. Almost side by side with the leader. Not quite having the speed on the bottom off the corner. It looked like the top still has the runoff. But there you go, Karakoff down to the bottom. They swap lanes. And Karakoff lets Zachary Ward on by. Now Zachary Ward up on the top side here running. He's going to have the speed off the corner and blows by the leader of the double zero. He retakes the lead here. Like I said earlier, Zachary Ward, who won last year in the Xfinity Series, is definitely good at these tracks. It's only a matter of time before I saw Zachary Ward get up here to the front, but he definitely is showing how to get done here in Auto Club Speedway. I'm really impressed, though, with Mark Ward here, who's off to uh, had a bit of a rough start this season. And right now inside the top 10, he's back there battling with Elliott Swope for the top 10. Elliott Swope fall, fell back a little bit. Craig Rich Jr. as well in the 94. These guys are battling hard for the top 10 position. Elliott Swope on the bumper of the 94. Young soccer keeper says, job, Matthew. You missed, I'm sure you've been watching most of this race, but he's up there in the second place position. That is his dad, Matthew Karakoff. Currently runs second place. He's battling hard with Zachary Ward for the lead here tonight. Karakoff, who started on the pole, got those four bonus points for uh, starting up there, leading this race to green. Led a bunch of laps tonight, so Karakoff off to a good start here in Auto Club Speedway. He's battling hard, though, for the lead, trying to get that lead back away from Zachary Ward. Let's take a look here at Matthew Viale. Joe Tardif trying to catch him. This is the battle for third and fourth and fifth. Max is just up the track in the back stretch here. He's currently run third. There is the gap from Matthew to Max Tronin. Quite a ways to go. Lap 47 this time by where the race is winding down. There is your two leaders battling hard for the lead. Land Pirate on that uh, number nine Silverado, Zachary Ward. At the line here, this is lap number 48.
like Kane Vandermark's going to try and get around Joe Tardif here. He's trying to get back up there to lead. That number six, Silverado, was fast. Lost a couple spots on pit road as a pit cycle group. He's running now top five. Looked like Patrick Lucio up in the wall makes contact back there in the number 18. Lucio, who is due, who's off to a really good start here tonight, he's kind of fell back a little bit. Lucio is currently run seventh. Not too bad, still inside the top ten, looking to get back up to the top five, but he was lead a lap. I believe he got bonus points for lead a lap here. He just could not quite get back up there to the lead. I think he probably pushed it a little bit hard earlier in the race and uh, just needs to get his pace back in that truck. But that's still a fast truck here on Auto Club Speedway. A little bit of a scrape mark on the right side there after making contact with the wall. Uh, let's go back up to the lead here. Here's Karakoff and Zachary Ward still, still half a car length separates the two of them. It's interesting to see who's going to be leading this race as we wind this thing down. We've got 25 laps to go here at Auto Club Speedway. They're definitely going to have to come down pit road one more time for fuel. So it's not over yet. It's going to be one more pit cycle before we get this thing all wrapped up. Karakoff right on his bumper. He goes to the high side. Just needs to find a good racing line around this track to take that lead away from Zachary Ward. 25 laps to go. This race is winding down. There's your top 10 on the left side of the screen. John Ledger to the top 10 here, right behind Nathan Vossi. Elliot Swope back there in the 14th place position as this run goes on. He's kind of losing a little bit here. Corey Goodall, though, up to 13th place position. Here is the battle for 14th, 15th, and 16th right now. There is Dan Withers. The number 67, Dan Withers, right now running 18. Got a long back stretch in front of him. Here's Craig Bridge Jr., currently running 12, trying to get into the top 10 here. Greg Bridge right now is currently 12th in points. Has three top tens this season. He's had a pretty good, uh, he's found some success this season. Looking for his first win, but nonetheless, off to a good start though. 12th in points is a good start for the 2024 season. He's trying to get around that number 10 of Mark Ward here. They do have to lift a little bit in these corners. If you haven't noticed, um, going down here to turn one, this is a two mile track. They do lift a little bit. It's definitely not just holding it wide open. Definitely easier than it looks. You see he's off the throttle here. Turn one and two, back on the throttle, down the back stretch. So definitely a lot of strategy. You gotta save your tires. Two laps to go. Looks like Bridge uh, Jr. is going to take it down pit road along with Mark Ward here in number 10.
Looks like a couple trucks down pit road. Kane Vandemark down pit road making his pit stop. Also Joe Tardiff as well along with Patrick Lucio. They make their way down for the last pit stop of this, uh, the race. 21 laps to go. Matthew in the 51 truck's gonna take the lead. Looks like he's gonna bring it down pit road as well. So John Ledger, if he stays out, he's gonna lead a lap and he does not. It's gonna be Randy Cawthon. Randy Cawthon stays out on track. Corey Goodall right now in the lead. Corey Goodall stays out, and it looks like he got the bonus point for leading a lap. 20 laps to go this time. Corey trying to get all the bonus points he can get here tonight. Not off to a good start at Auto Club, but nonetheless, trying to get every every point matters. Elliot Swope gets around Corey Goodall here. So after these cycle through, these are your current leaders or these will be the current leaders. As you can see, they're battling side by side on track. Through turn one and two, Zachary Ward gets around Karakoff. Um, but these are gonna be the two guys you're gonna wanna watch after the cycles through. Corey Goodall still the lead. Car uh, Goodall down pit road this time. So Zachary Ward and Karakoff will be your current leaders. 18 laps to go this time after they pass the start finish line. Donald Bennett, you packed it up, headed to Richmond. Oh man, Donald, what happened? You were off to a rough start tonight. I know you had, you went through the grass earlier in the video. I didn't get to see what else happened to you, but I'm sorry to hear that, Donald. I was wondering what happened. Man Jr. in the 29 to the inside of Marshall Dugan. He's trying to take that position away. Currently 13th right now on track. Not quite going to get him. He's going to fall back in line a little bit here tonight. Uh, just outside the top 10 looking in, you got John Ledger. He's currently 10th and then Marshall Dugan right there in the uh, 11th place position. They're looking for their top 10. There's Max Tronin, the number four. First time out there with us in that racing fun league. He's got a good solid third place position here with 18 laps to go. He's made his last final pit stop of the night. And uh, just waiting to see if these two guys out in front are gonna mess up here. Karakoff and Zachary Ward though, still battling it out. These guys are not gonna give up until they see the checker. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Donald Bennett. Wish you uh, had some better luck here tonight at Auto Club Speedway. So Corey Goodall, after this gets cycled through, he's currently 14. Decided to stay out a little bit longer to try and lead the lap. And then behind him, Stephen Lindo in the 214. Dan Withers back there in the 16th, and Randy Cawthon as well in the 31. He's run 17th. Mark Ward with a little bit of mishap on pit road, lost a couple spots. He's back there in 18th. Justin Glover, who we haven't talked much about tonight, he's currently running 19th. And Vossi, who I thought would have had a better run here tonight, he was up there in the top 10. He's now back there in 20th. Jeff Laraway currently 22nd on pit road for his final stop of the race. Eric Olson, who was on pit road just moments ago, he is currently 23rd. And then Donald Bennett right now is scored in 24th. Uh, but your current point leaders, you got Zachary Ward. Right, I keep saying point, but your race leader, Zachary Ward, Karakoff still trying to battle for the lead. If Karakoff wants to take this lead away from Zachary Ward, he's gonna have to do it in the next 15 laps. Karakoff down the back stretch, right behind the lead. The 
leader of Zachary Ward. That number 51 truck, he's trying to get up there. He's currently up to third. He takes third place away from Max Tronin. He's last week's winner at Bristol Motor Speedway. Trying to chase down these leaders. We've got quite a big gap here tonight, though. We're to put that back up on the screen, though. He's about six seconds back off the lead. So he's going to try and going to be hard to make up six seconds off these leaders here with 14 to go but if anything happens between these leaders he's right there here is the battle between Joe Tardiff and Patrick Lucio Josh Previtt right there behind him it's the battle for fifth sixth and seventh on screen two Toyota Tundras and a Silverado battling it out and Payne Vandemark back there down on the inside. He's trying to get around these guys as well. This is a good battle. Patrick Lucio to the bottom of the track, tries to get around Joe in the 23 truck. And he does. Payne Vandemark side by side with uh, Josh Previtt here. I said this is for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Kane Vandemark showing more speed. He's trying to get around Joe Tarr from the 23, which he does. He's going to try and take it all the way around Patrick Lucio. Side by side on turn two. Kane showing some speed here. 12 laps to go this time. Matthew Heal, Hiale. 5.8 seconds back off the lead now. He's chasing down the leaders. Karakoff just still comfortably sitting back there in second, probably just waiting the, for the right time to make his move. Kane, I think, is also waiting to make his move on the 18 here. He drops down to the bottom of the tra uh, track here, side by side. That high side's got the run off. That is the issue. It's hard to get around him. So Kane's going to try and fall back behind the 18 again. And try again once more. Is he going to go down to the bottom of the track? Which he does. All righty, 10 laps to go. Just 10 to go. Here is your leaders running into some traffic here. 77 of Matt McComas up high. Zach's going to drop down low along with uh, Matthew Karakoff. There you have it, down the back stretch they go. Matthew Karakoff not giving up just yet. He's hanging on to the lead of Zachary Ward. Keith Abbott says hoping for a top three for Marshall Dugan or number 10. Oh, top, top three or top 10. I gotcha. Marshall Dugan, who uh, we saw earlier in the race, made a little bit of contact with the outside wall. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all happened there, but I saw some sparks fly and made a little bit of contact with the ball. He's currently looking for a top 10. He's right now in 11th. So try and chase down Mark Ward for that top 10 spot. Matthew's catching the leaders, but just ever so slightly, eight laps to go. He's 5.4 seconds off the lead. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to get up there. Karakoff dropping back as well. Zachary Ford's throwing away. Jeff Larway in front of Karakoff now. He's got fresh tires on that number 71. Those trucks are a lap down. Seven laps to go this time by at the line. 
Kane Van, oh, I'm sorry, Zachary Ward at the bottom of the track. Kane Vandemark, though, up to the top five. He's back here, getting around uh, Patrick Lucio for the top five. Kane trying to get there back to the lead. Elliot Swope now once again inside the top ten. Swope trying to keep his uh, point lead or his points going. Swope's right now six in the, the current standings. He's off to a good start this season. At these speedway tracks, he has an average finish of 5.5. So not too bad. All right, six laps to go this time by Karakoff trying to get to uh, Zachary Ward, but he's falling back. I don't know if he's going to quite have enough for Zachary Ward. Zachary Ward is running into some lap cars here right now behind Nathan Bossy. He's going to go to the bottom of the track. Zach's just really good at managing his tires here at these speedways. Does a great job. Puts it out in front when it matters. Vandemark now gets around Max Tronin for the fourth place position. Max has fallen back a little bit here. As this run goes on, looks like his tires kind of fall off a little bit. That truck had a lot of short run speed here tonight. Um, as this run leads on though, it looks like his long run speed's kind of falling off. Now back to the sixth place position. He was in solid top three for a long part of this race, but falling back a little bit here. Nonetheless, though, it looks like he's poised to get a top 10 with just four laps to go. There's the eight of Josh Previtt, currently runs seventh. Joe Tardiff right now in the 23, he's running eighth place. And John Ledger is currently running ninth. Corey Goodall, though, finds his way inside the top 10, trying to keep his points going this season. And that's Marshall Dugan right behind Corey Goodall. For 11. All righty, but we're looking at Zachary Ward, who is out front, shining bright here in that number nine Silverado. He is fast. It's going to take a lot to catch him and get this lead. laps to go this time. Oh, we up to the high side around that lap car. Nathan Bossy still hanging on to his lead lap. Two laps to go this time by. On board with Zachary Ward. Let's go ahead and pull up Karakoff and see how far back he is and what he needs to do here. So there's Karakoff right on board with him tonight. Two laps to go behind some lap traffic. That's Dan Withers right in front of him. Matthew closing the gap. He's only 3.2 seconds back off the lead. Try and take second away. The white flag in the air. Zachary Ward needs to lead this lap one more time for the win. And there you have it. There is the space from Zachary Ward back to Karakoff. About 3.2 seconds back.
there you have it for the final time on uh, turn four. Zachary Ward takes the checkered flag at Auto Club Speedway, gets his first win of the 2024 season. Congratulations, Zachary Ward, on the win. Matthew gets the pass on the other Matthew. Matthew Heal in the 51 truck makes the pass on Karakoff for second place. So 51 takes second, Karakoff third. Kane Vandemark gets fourth place here. Patrick Lucio takes fifth. Max Tronin in his first effort and first race in the iRacing Fun League, he takes sixth. Josh Previtt will take seventh here tonight in his first race of the season. John Ledger will take eighth place. Joe Tardiff takes ninth place here in the 23 truck. And Corey Goodall will take your final 10th place position for top 10. Alrighty, there is Zachary Ward. Congratulations, Zach. First win of the 2024 season. He said he was going to come out for some races with us to this, uh, this season, and uh, he continues to impress us here at Auto Club Speedway. Like I said, last year's uh, champion of the 2024 season. Shows that he still got it. And there you have it. Let's see if we can pull up Zachary Ward up here in the booth and have a t chat with him. Hey, Zach, it's David up in the booth. You got me? Hey, David. What's up, man? Hey, Zach. Very impressive run, man. You were fast all race long, made your way through the pack. Uh, congratulations on your first win of the 2024 season. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun, man. Uh, it was fun racing there with Karakoff at the end. He, he's good, man. That guy's talented. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like he was going to try and chase you down there for a little while, but uh, you just proved that you just had the speed and the tires to win this thing. Uh, but congratulations. You're pulling away from him at the end. Karakoff fell back to third. Yeah, it came down to like a little bit of a fuel strategy. He came he came a lap too early because when I came, I, I came with just enough to get to the end. So he was about a lap short. So that's why when I, when I pulled up in front of him, I was like, oh, I might have messed up there because I'm kind of helping him save some fuel. But... I mean, either way, it was fun. Everybody's everybody's done a great job in this league, man. All right, man. Well, how do you feel getting your first win of the season? You're last year's 2024 champion. Uh, is it good to be back there on track racing with us again? Yeah, man, it feels good. I wish I could do some more, but my dad's just getting started on iRacing, so I'm trying to help him out a little bit. Um, but I'll be back for a couple more. I know definitely one I'm looking forward to is uh, um, Rockingham in the Xfinity car, so that's a fun car track combo there. All righty. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. Um, congratulations. You go back-to-back -back at Auto Club winning last year in the Xfinity Series. So congratulations. Good to hear from you. Um, thanks for coming on and racing with us, and look forward to talking to you soon. Appreciate it. Take it easy. You too. All righty. There you have it from race winner Zachary Ward. We'll see if we can pull up second place, which was uh, Matthew Heal. Hey, Matthew, it's Dave up booth. You got me? Yes, sir. Hey, man, how's it going? Congratulations on second place there. It was impressive seeing you come through the field up to the second place there. You were chasing down Matthew Karakoff in the closing laps. What was going through your mind? Thank you. I guess uh, it wasn't half bad of a day if you're disappointed with the second place finish. Just the uh, cautions did not really fare into uh, what I had for strategy. Uh, I didn't take any tires on the first pit stop as I thought we were going to have more and it just kind of cost me in the long run and ran out of time. Right, I hear you. I hear you. So, I mean, I saw you, you got the EOL at the start of the race. What we do basically in the fun league is last week's winner starts at the rear, kind of keeps it fair for everybody. Um, but yeah, I saw you go through the field and then, man, you had some speed in those closing laps. You just need a couple more laps. You think you would have caught Zachary Ward? I think if I had uh, the same amount of lap cars as the leaders had, I, I think I probably would have caught them, but I was out there by myself and nobody was really towing me around like them. So un unfortunately, I just fell a little bit short. Um, just the automotive consultants planner box direct Toyota Tundra was just super, super fast again. Um, didn't really fire off as fast as I thought it was going to in practice and 
kind of figured that I was going to settle for maybe a top 10 in the race and uh, was pleasantly surprised as I kind of clawed my way through the field, but in the end just came up too short on that uh, first pit call of not taking tires. And, you know, as much as I want to say, you know, we, we saved a set of tires, it doesn't really matter because they're virtual. So it is what it is. I'm, I'm happy with the P2. I wish we could have gotten a little bit more, but um, it is what it is. All right, man. Well, good to hear from you. And congrats going 1-2 uh, in your first two races with us. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, sir. Hope to be back in the booth here next week. Sounds good, man. Have a good night. You as well. All right. There we heard from uh, second place finisher Matthew Heal in the number 51 truck. Let's see if we have third place here. Hey, Matthew. It's David up the booth. You got me? Yeah, David. Hey, man, you were battling hard with Zachary Ward all race long. What was going through your mind trying to take the lead away from him in those closing laps? Well, right after halfway, I knew I wouldn't make it with when I had to pit the next couple of times, so I just tried to stay behind him, and I was gaining. I wasn't losing a lot of uh, gas by doing that, and uh, I just tried to stick to that. I hear you, man. You led a lot of laps and I got started on the pole. I tried to pull you up in the booth, but I didn't see you in Discord, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, congratulations on the pole, getting those bonus points. Led a couple laps here tonight, and it looked like you were poised to win it, but uh, just fell off there at the end. What was it going to take for you to win this thing? You just needed some more tires? or? Well, actually, I was saving my tires behind Ward, and I, I had it set up perfect, but then there's lap cars behind us with fresher tires. And I don't blame them at all, but broke us up. And at that point, I started losing more gas, and I let off because uh, I ran out um, right before the start finish line. So I had to let off. Oh, okay. So fuel's getting really tight, huh? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't make it around the track. <laughs> I gotcha. Well, it was really impressive watching you battle with Zachary Ward. Yeah, I mean, you're on his bumper lap after lap for quite a while. It was a good race to watch. Um, but congratulations, top three, and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Yeah, thank you. This league is freaking awesome. So much fun. Thanks for broadcasting. Yeah, of course, man. Have fun with it. And uh, it's always uh, fun to watch you guys out there. Thank you for joining us as well. Yeah, have a good week. All right, take it easy. We'll hear from you soon. All right, there was your uh, third place finisher, Matthew Karakoff. Um, guys, that's going to do it for the broadcast. Let's go ahead and pull up the schedule real quick before we get out of here tonight thank you all for watching us keith abbott um donald bennett as well for coming out there commenting with us lorraine neha sharon laraway thank you guys for commenting i appreciate it looking forward i always look forward to uh commenting and talking with all of you guys look forward to reading your comments is what i meant to say uh, but guys give me just a moment here let's go ahead and show you guys the schedule because i think next week's going to be richmond as far as donald bennett says i don't remember off the top of my head i actually have to always pull up the schedule to show you guys. So there is a schedule in front of you. Auto Club was today. Next week, March 28th, is going to be Richmond, Virginia. So a uh, really good short track. It's going to be interesting. I think one of our four, first, four, first short tracks of the season other than Bristol. Um, Bristol is a short track, but Richmond's more of a flat track. So definitely going to be interesting to watch that guy. So we'll pick that back up next Thursday at Richmond. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this broadcast, and we'll see you guys next week. Alrighty, hope you all enjoyed that, and have a good weekend. See you guys next week. Alrighty.